Hello everyone, welcome back to another card opening here on Simon's Card Hot. My name is Simon and today it's once again time to go back to the past with a box of Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal Raiders. Second set in succession after the Legends of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So let's see if we can get something good here because the set might also be a teeny tiny bit underwhelming compared to nowadays sets. 24 packs. So without further ado, let's see what we get. Of course, the two big hits being the Summon Skull, which was rather strong. And of course, the Black Skull Dragon, something like that. And we're starting with a Chirai Gumu, which has quite the heavy drawback of losing half your life if you lose the Toy and Cos. Mystic Lamp, Castle of Dark Illusions, which is one of the cards with very weird stats. 1930, 920 attack. And we get a Blade Fly. Woo! one of the element boosters of the set a lady of faith rabbit horseman yeah i'm not going to read every single card otherwise we're still here tomorrow so let's not do that lots of old ones i had a very shitty deck back in the days, which was like small face attackers combined with the, tra the permanent trap card, which didn't allow uh, four or higher level monsters to attack. Uh, gravity binding, gravity binding, a magician of faith. That's one of the better cards actually, and a suijin for. The gate, well, let's call it golem. So let's continue with the next pack. Let's see what we get here Cocoon of Evolution for the moth. Cannon Soldier, also not too too bad. There's still a bunch of very not so powerful no regular monsters. Seven colored fish. Actually a decent card. <laughs> because it had eighteen hundred attack for four for a level 4 monster that was useful until everything had 1850 or 1900 attack. An elegant egotist for your harpy synergy. Skull Knight. Yeah. Let's see what we get here. Lava Battle Guard. Uh, comboing with the Swamp Battle Guard. A Witch of a Black Forest, also one of the stronger ones. Able to get your Exodia, for example, if you wanted to do that. Moving on. And now a Witch of a Black Forest, a Happy Lady. Woo! Unfortunately, back in the days, rather weak. Because that was also the only Harpy Lady you had for quite a while. Well, I guess it's subjective if it's quite a while. Let's continue. We have a Hoshin, Hoshin again, the element booster, and a Horn of Heaven. Oh, that's a nice one. 
That's a nice one indeed with her reaction trap cards. Back in the day when not every trap card needed to be played from hand in order to be decent. With a star boy, a booster for water and a tribute to the doomed. It was an okay card. Discard a card to kill a monster. Two for one in yourself, however, is not really a good idea. That's yeah, that's not that decent. We have a white magical head and some other cards. Moving on. A crawling dragon. A thunder dragon. I hear he got it got an archetype later. I actually missed that one. A shadow ghoul. On to the next book we go. Let's see what we get. A petite moth and a mask of darkness. Which is basically the slightly worse version of a magician of faith. Giving you back a trap card. A mask sorcerer and a lava moth. Yay. We can start the evolution chain. pack with a sangan which also fetches you weak zodia parts and a thousand dragon for our secret rare here looks cool is not really that cool especially since it doesn't come to life like it did in the series where the time wizard forwarded <laughs> the dragon in time Instead, you had to fusion summon it, which back in the day, not a lot of fun. With a Navajo Shining again. And a Kuribo, the OG Kuribo. That's a cool one for nostalgia. Another happy lady. Moving on, the cocoon of evolution yet again, and a great moth. Yay, now we can finish our evolution chain. Moving on to the next pack, starting with a flame servers, a tremendous fire and a dark elf. On to the next pack we go. With a Milo's Radiant with bo bo booster, no, buffer for Earth. On to the next pack we go. Let's see what we get here. We get a Blade Fly with a booster for. Wind. So, a few more packs to go. Let's see what what we can get here. Now a witch of a black forest. Yay! Place it complete. I think I still have some lying around. Actually, it's not really searching for them. Apprentice 
which was the buffer for darkness. And, oh, very nice. We actually get it, the black skull dragon. Actually, I'm gonna sleeve that one later. Very nice. So let's move on. Fourth to last pack. We'll get another elegant egotist and actually happy lady sisters to go along with it if you want to actually summon them. Very cool. Three packs left to go for those who are curious about it. So let's see what we get here. A little chimera have a buffer for fire. And of course they also debuffed like the opposite field. Never really so playful. Which makes sense because they themselves are rather weak. And we have a Milo's Radiant once again, Earth Buffer, Baby Dragon. In theory, with the time wizard moving it forward, it turns into the old dragon. Last pack of the box. Let's see what we get. The unhappy maiden. Oh no. We get a shield and sword, and that's it. Well, this has been a trip to the past yet again. So, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and I will be seeing you at the next one.